Okay, baby girl. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Okay. Well, quick question. So I, I unplugged that from there? Uh huh. Okay. And then you said I can put them in any two down there, right? Any four. There's four right here. Oh. Just whichever one you want. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna get your pee-pain. Be quiet. Here we go, pee-pain. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know how you're gonna manage to pee without it, so. That's why you're going with me. You just turn around. Um, phone charger? No, -uh. I don't think I need anything out of there. I think it's all in that leopard bag. So, boo, that's not leopard. <laughs> the bag that you put in the closet. I need my camera. Just give me my, what I need and my phone charger, please, sir. Thank you. Is your toy? Is your toy? Well, I just got one. Can you put it in for me? Back there. Please. You got a closer place with it? Uh-uh. I guess I'm a... They don't... Good. What thing? Oh, never mind. It don't fit over here? My extension cord? Okay. So, I just got my... Second dose of medicine. Oh, in my IV, and um, now I'm just waiting on the contraction. She said that once the contraction start getting too bad, let her know because it could take an hour for me to get an epidural. An epidural. So, still got the monitor on my stomach and just waiting to see. This is your teeth, this is baby. I guess because it's up so high, I didn't really think it would be a bit. You finna test it out? That's all right. I'm gonna put the seat on. I'm gonna start to be I want you to lay on it so you can tell me if it's comfortable or not. I'm not feeling 
This ain't hard. We good for my back. <laughs> it's firm. Yep. That's Contractions are getting stronger, so I'm getting prepared to get an epidural. It is 12.55. I got the epidural. And then she just checked me and I'm at a five. And I have a, what is it? A urinary catheter in. Yeah. So. We just wait at this point. I feel more comfortable than I did, but so this is where we are. It is 5.39 a.m. March the 2nd. I was able to go to sleep from 1.45 till about 4.30. Um, I just got checked and I'm at a seven and the doctor hasn't broken my water yet. I think they're trying to wait for my doctor to come. My doctor, I think she'll be here at seven. At seven. Yeah, so I'm already at a seven. The contractions are like every two minutes and I can feel them. So I will not be getting any more rest. <laughs> that little almost three hour nap that I had is it for me. So now we just wait. And she weighed seven pounds and seven ounces. Twins is long. And twenty. Did I say twenty point five inches long? And I'm currently um, breastfeeding her, hoping that I can continue to do it. And she look like she got freckles on her face, don't she, Boo? Yeah. Yeah, she look like she got freckles. I don't know where the freckles came from. I'm trying to figure out on which side of the family the freckles came from, but she's here. Ooh, look at baby girl. We got a baby. We got a baby. So this is our room. That's like a trash thing, I think. Our little closet. We got a TV, I just put it on mute. Refrigerator, I don't remember having a refrigerator last time with Kim. And then the chair is a recliner. And then this little couch over here is what Adrian's gonna sleep on unless I'm into a bed. The noise y'all hear is Callie feeding. This is her little bed next to me. And then I have a little thing over here where I have her sound machine, my water, and then the doctors can like wash their hands in the back. Oh, so that's the setup. Y'all, believe it or not, this food is good. I got chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and this roll, and it's like really, really hot. This is the macaroni and cheese. The macaroni and cheese don't look good like the crab, so I probably won't be eating that. But I've had this 
before. <clears throat> and it was really good. And then they brought me a bag of snacks. Like snacks that you actually pick. So I just got an apple. I already ate these. These were some cheese bites or crackers or whatever. Um, what else I got in here? Some little cookies. Peanut butter crackers. I saw the apple. Oh, and I think I got a granola bar. Yeah, and they gave me some yogurt that I um, that I put in the refrigerator. But y'all, this food be so good and so hot. So I know this lighting isn't the best, but that's all I have right now. I just wanted to share that I have been um, breastfeeding. And let me tell you, I just want to taste the macaroni. It probably ain't good, but uh, so far so good. My boobs, I mean, my nipples are sore but they're not sore to the point to where I just want to give up like I did with Kim. And it's really like just like a latching thing because when she's on, I can feel it and it's uncomfortable, but it doesn't hurt. But when she's just on my nipple, it hurts really bad. Mm -mm. That's not good. Mm -mm. Where you go? What's it looking like? It's getting dark. Breastfeeding is going. My nipples are really sore. I'm really tired. Um, just because that's really the only option, but I think I'm doing it right. I've had a lactation specialist come in like twice to help. I'll probably do it again today also, but she be on my boob like 45 minutes. Then she may be on it like an hour because my milk hasn't come in, so she's just getting the colostrum. But yeah, my boobs. Oh my God, they hurt so bad. They hurt so bad. I know it's for a good cause. I'm just staying optimistic that I can keep it up, fingers crossed, and not give up like I did with Kim. But so like every two hours. So I'm really not getting that much sleep because if she if she feeds, say from 12 to 1, then she goes back to sleep at 1.30. Then I try to go to sleep at 1.30. Then she already up at like three, you know, want to eat again. So that's the struggle right now. She is asleep. I'm gonna try to see if I can show y'all the little, um, what is it called? The little swaddle blanket that I got it. I got her name on it, so hold on. Here she go. I got her name on it. Oh, she turned around. Girl, why you turning around? Why you turning around, mama? But and there she goes. Try to get her with her eyes open. Y'all look how big these pads are. And then the stuff on the back it really doesn't even stick. So you low key have to try to hold the pad in place by yourself so blood won't get everywhere. And then they're so big. And then they gave me these, which I do not like. These little mesh pink girl. This don't look like nothing. These are the ones that's not good. I hate these. They're not really even doing anything. They barely hold a pad in place, okay? And then this is a peri bottle, which is not a peri bottle. This is like a water bottle. That's why I brought my own, because I knew it was going to be some food la la with them. Oh, y'all, I'm so tired. I haven't been getting any sleep because Callie really hasn't been sleeping that much. Uh, my boobs are sore. Like, she may sleep for like an hour and a half or something. Then if she poop, you know, she up. If she's ready to eat like every two hours. But we had to stay an extra day in the hospital because her jaundice levels were high. Which, Cam's jaundice was high as well. So, I was a little nervous about that. The nurse said if you have one child who has like increased jaundice levels, then more than likely the second child will also. So, they had to monitor that to make sure it didn't go over the threshold for treatment. Treatment is like light therapy, like you lay them on like a little light um, to help their pigment come in because she's kind of yellow right now, like her pigment hasn't come in. Um, and I'm thinking that's probably why she has the freckles on her face. I think the freckles are probably going to be the color of her skin, which the little freckles look so cute right now. So that was kind of nerve wracking, but I think we have it under control. The um, my doctor said we could go home today, so I'm excited about that. But uh, yeah, in the hospital for three nights. <laughs> I'm so tired, I just wanna go home. 
So I don't think I ended the vlog right, but me and baby girl are at home, safe and sound. I'm really tired. Um, I think I mentioned everything came back normal with her um, second or her third uh, jaundice test. But um, but yeah, so we're here, team no sleep, okay? But um, so until next time, talk to you guys later, bye.